Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about basics of stacks and also applications of stacks in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is a stack. Stack is a linear data structure which follows particular order in which the operations are performed. The operations such as insertion, deletion and display. Now you can ask me sir what is the insertion? Inserting an element is the general terminology but when it comes to the stack we will call it as a push operation. Push operation is nothing but inserting an element into the stack. Similarly deleting an element from the stack we will call it as pop and then displaying all the elements in the stack we will use the operation called display. So totally we have three operations such as push, pop and display. So push is nothing but insertion and pop is nothing but deletion. Now let me discuss what is this particular order. We said that stack is a linear data structure which follows a particular order in which the operations are performed. I have discussed what kind of operations they are. Now let me discuss what is the particular order. To make you understand the particular order, let me discuss with a simple example. We have all the plates are arranged one by one on top of one by one. So let's take that I have a plate number one. After inserting the plate number one, you have inserted plate number two on top of plate number one. Then plate number three, hope they are visible as plates. Okay. Then you have a plate number four. So which plate was inserted first? The insertion was happened. First is the plate number one, then plate number two, then plate number three, and then plate number four. Now, if I want to remove the plate number one, first I need to remove the plate number four, then plate number three, then plate number two, then only I can remove the plate number one. Am I right or wrong? So, the deletion, when it comes to this kind of plates arrangement or any such arrangements, first you need to remove the plate number four, then only you can remove the plate number three, then only you can remove the plate number two or you can remove the plate number one. Or let me take a real time example also. Let's take that your mother is preparing the dosas and you are sitting as I said with a plate. So first she will pour the dosa one. But you are very slow. You are watching a YouTube, you know, YouTube, some movie you are watching and then you are eating slowly. Obviously you will eat very slow. But your mother is very experienced. She is keep on pouring the dosas. So while you are eating the dosa one, she will keep the dosa two on top. Am I right? So dosa one is here, then dosa two she kept. While you are eating the dosa two, she poured another dosa on top. So now dosa three came. Then what you have to do? You have to eat the dosa three only because the dosa one is here, dosa two is here, then dosa three. Okay. So first you need to finish the dosa three, then dosa two, then dosa one. Am I right or wrong? So similarly, if you are arranging the plates like this, the inserting will happen the plate number one, plate number two, plate number three, plate number four, but the deletion will happen plate number four, plate number three, plate number two, plate number one. Now look at this one. The plate number one was inserted first, but it was deleted at last. Okay. Similarly, the plate number four was inserted last, but the deletion was happened first. So I can say that the stack follows the any one of this order we can say first in last out f i l o is nothing but first in last out l i f o is nothing but last in first out this in is nothing but insertion so the element which was inserted or the plate number one which was inserted first was deleted at last Similarly, the plate number four, which was inserted last, was deleted first. So the stack uses the LIFO order, meaning is that first last in, first out. Okay. So this is about the stack. Now let me discuss about the push and the pop operations and the display. Then I will discuss about the applications of the stack. Okay. To make you understand, let me represent the stack like this. And the each stack will have a top. To know the top of the element, initially we will initialize the top is equal to 1. If top is equal to 1, then you can say that stack is empty. Okay. 
I am discussing with respect to the arrays. Okay. So initially top is equal to minus 1. Then you know that the array index will start from 0, then 1, 2, so on up to size minus 1. Let's take that here I have taken the size as some 5. So meaning is that I can insert 5 elements into the stack or insert the array because the array size defines the size of the number of elements. Suppose if you say that array size is 5, you can insert 5 elements. So I am taking the index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, oh sorry, let me write here, index 3, index 4. Okay, so I can insert 5 elements. Initially, I have initialized the top is equal to minus 1. Let's take that I want to insert the elements 2, 3, 4, 20 and 10. These are the elements I want to insert, insert into the stack or I want to push these elements into the stack. Now push is nothing but inserting, okay. Now what will happen? You want to insert the first element at the index 0. Am I right or wrong? So what you have to do? Initially top is equal to minus 1. So I said the top is useful for you to identify the topmost element. Initially top is empty, means stack is empty. So that's why top is equal to minus 1. When you insert this one, you need to insert at this particular index 0. So then what you will do, you will increment the top, okay, and then at that index, now top is when you increment it will become 0. So at that index you will push it. So right now top is here, top index is 0, so the topmost element is 2. Similarly, if you want to push the element 3, again you will increment the top, at that particular index you will insert, so 3 will be here. Now top is pointing here, it will not point to here. Similarly, if you want to push the element 4, again you will increment the top, then top is 1, it will become 2. So at that index, you will insert the element 4, then similarly 20, 10, you will push all these elements. So now the top is pointing to the element 10 at the index 4. Is it clear? So this is about the push operation. So push operation is nothing but inserting an element into the stack. Now if I want to delete a element 4, can I delete directly the 4 or can I pop the element 4 from the stack directly? No, it is not possible. It is lost in first out. So if you want to delete the element 4 which is there at the index 2, you have to delete the element 10, then 20, then 4. Now let me discuss how can you delete the element 10 or how can you pop the element 10 from the stack, okay. Now to do that one, what you have to do is that you have to decrement the top. Is it clear? Top is pointing the 4. Now you will make it what? You will decrement the top. So you will do top minus minus, okay. Then top will be pointing here. So we will say that logically the element 10 is deleted. Is it clear? Now top is pointing to this one, meaning is that the topmost element is 20. So logically we are deleting the element 10. Similarly, if I want to pop the element 20, again I will decrement the top. Okay, top is initial is pointing to the index 3. So if I decrement, it will become 2. So top will be here. Then we can say that logically we have deleted the element 20. Similarly, now I want to delete the element 4, then again I will decrement the top, okay. Then logically we have deleted it, like that we have to delete the elements or pop the elements from the stack. Now I want to display the elements. What are the elements are there 3 and 2? Will it display as 2, 3 or you have to display as 3, 2? It is lost in first out. So you, while you are displaying the elements, you have to display from the top to the index 0 if you are implementing using an array. So you have to display the element 3 first, then you have to display the element as 2. So if someone asks after these operations what are the elements which are there in the stack, you have to start displaying from the top and go up to the index 0. So the elements which are there is 3, 2. So this is about the push operation, <coughs> pop operation and display with respect to the stack. I hope you have understood.
Now let me discuss the applications of stack in detail. Let me write those applications in detail. First application is we can perform the recursion using the stack. Already I have discussed what is recursion in the C programming. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know the recursion, I request you to go back and watch that video. The link for that video will be provided in the description section. And then you can do the expression evaluation using the stack. You can evaluate the expressions using the stacks and even parenthesis checking. Parenthesis matching can also be done using the stack. These are the applications. And then infix to postfix, infix to prefix conversion can also be done using the stack and also the DFS depth first search which is a graph traversal during this tra graph traversal also we will use the stack so these are the general applications sometimes people will say that to perform the string reverse also we will use the stack okay is it clear now let me discuss each one in detail what is a recursion Recursion is a technique. So a function calling itself, we will call it as a recursive function. A function can call another function, but a function calls itself, we will call it as a recursion. So that process is a recursion. So a function calling itself, that function will call it as a recursive function and the technique we will call it as a recursion. Now let me discuss with an example. Let's take that you are writing a factorial of a program. So what you will do if n is greater than or equal to 1 then you will write written n into factorial of n minus 1 this is what you will write it in a in a factorial function so in fact of n okay you will write if n is greater than let me write it as int n because this is the function definition okay this int is nothing but the written type and fact is the user defined function called factorial and in the n then what you will write if n is greater than or equal to 1 you will return n into factorial of n minus 1 else you will return 1 this is the function in C programming to compute the factorial of a given number let me discuss with a simple example you have want to compute the factorial of number 3 so you want to compute 3 factorial 3 factorial is what 1 into 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 now you want the same output using this recursive function now when you have called the factorial of 3 so it will the function call will go to the stack okay now look at factorial of 3 you have called so 3 is greater than or equal to 1 the condition is true if the condition is true which is nothing but this statement will be executed n into factorial of n minus 1 which is nothing but 3 into factorial of 2 so you are calling the function called fact of 2 so again the function call will go to the stack or will be inserted into the stack now 2 is greater than or equal to 1 again the condition is true if the condition is true you will write the written n into factorial of n minus 1 so fact of 2 is calling 2 into factorial of 1 so this recursive function call again will be inserted into the stack is it clear are you able to understand now n value is 1 1 is greater than or equal to 1 yes 1 is equal to 1 the condition is true so again this written statement will be executed which is nothing but 1 into fact of 0 now this time you are calling fact of 0 okay so that's why you inserted into the stack now n value is 0 so this condition will be failed it will be executed the else statement written 1 so this function has written the value 1 so it will be pop and that value will be written so 1 into 1 is it clear so which is nothing but 1 so fact of 1 is written the value 1 so 2 into 1 you will get the 2 so fact of 2 value will be written 2 so 
whenever you are returning you will be popped them from the stack whenever the function call is happened we are inserting or pushing into the stack whenever the return statement is happening you will pop them from the stack so 3 into 2 which is nothing but 6 are you able to understand it or not so this is the way the recursion will be happened using the stack now let me discuss about the expression evaluation the expression evaluation suppose let's take that you have an expression called 2 plus 3 into 4 if you want to evaluate this expression again we will use the stack how to perform the expression evaluation using the stack I will discuss in one of the videos separately using the process then what is this parenthesis matching let's take that you have the parenthesis such as open braces open parenthesis again open then closed then closed how it will do the parenthesis matching is nothing but what how many parentheses you have open those many parentheses you should close when you are writing the C program we will check that one before compiling the program otherwise it will give an error so how it will happen using the stack is that the first parenthesis which is opened will be pushed into the stack again the next one which is there is an open see whenever there is an open parenthesis you will push them into the stack whenever you get a closed parenthesis then one open parenthesis you will pop it from the stack so there is a match this one is matched with this one then again there is a closed parenthesis so you will pop this one also so now look at once the all the parenthesis is completed if the stack is empty then only you can say that the parenthesis is matched suppose let's take that you have written three open parenthesis and two closed parenthesis only so whenever there is a open parenthesis we will push it into the stack so all the three open parenthesis I have pushed into the stack now for the first closed parenthesis I will pop this one so top is here next one there is a closed parenthesis I will pop this one now the parenthesis are completed now there is one parenthesis in the stack I can say that stack is not empty then I can say that the parenthesis matching is not happened so once all the parentheses are completed if you have the stack is empty then you can say that parentheses are matched otherwise they are not matched then we have infix to postfix conversion infix to prefix conversion what is the postfix expression what is an infix expression what is a prefix expression how it will be converted I will discuss in the next video but let me discuss what is the infix expression suppose you have a plus b this is one expression now this one we will call it as an infix expression because you have the operands in between the operands you have an operator now postfix is nothing but you will write the all the operands then you will write the operator when it comes to the prefix the first the operator then the operands so if you have an infix expression if you want to convert into a postfix or it convert into prefix can be done using the stack we will discuss in detail about this infix to postfix conversion infix to prefix conversion in a separate video then the dfs it is a graph traversal i will discuss about the graph traversal in one video then we have the string reverse now let's take that you have a string called hollow so the first string first character you are reading is h so you will push into the stack then e you will push l l o this is what the collection of characters you have pushed into the stack when you pop it first you will pop the o then l then l then e then h so it is string reverse is happen even for the string reverse we can use the stack so these are the applications of the stack and the definition of the stack i hope you have understood if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible in the next video i will discuss about how to implement the stack using the array so i request you to go and watch the next video thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day